Hey guys, this is Aaron. Later on this week, we have a video coming out from 3D Basecamp uh, 2018 of Eric Schimmelfinney's presentation. Uh, Eric talks a lot about using SketchUp for creating things, for production, for actually taking files and using them to drive machinery and that sort of thing. He does a lot of CNC work, that, that kind of stuff. So he has a whole bunch of good tips. If you have any interest in producing based on your SketchUp files, it's well worth taking a look at. So that'll be coming out later this week. Um, I did catch something out of what he said that is a good tip that not everybody knows about. It's one of those things that uh, a lot of people will kind of take for granted that people know this, but not everybody does. So I wanted to uh, touch on that, and that has to do with exporting files for CNC specifically exporting DXF files. So let's take a look at that. So I have here a little puzzle um, I'm going to say I want to make. So I want to take this out and I want to get this cut on a CNC. So this is the actual pieces I want to have cut. Um, I'm going to simplify this for this example. So I'm going to come in here and turn off all but one piece. And I'm going to simplify this even further. So when I export a DXF for CNC, I'm only interested in 2D information. So I really don't care about the thickness here. I don't care about these sides. I don't care about the bottom. All I really care about is one 2D piece here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to, for this example, I'm just going to delete everything except for that top piece. So it doesn't matter how I go about it. I could have actually just selected this top surface, copied it, and then pasted it outside of the group. For this example, I'm just going to do that to get me my 2D image there. So there's a couple ways I can export this, and we're going to look at the differences between the two. So I'm going to start by getting to a top view, so an absolute top view by hitting the top button. That's going to look straight down. I'm also going to come in here to camera and go to parallel projection. This assures that I'm looking straight down, no perspective, no distortion. So this, looking straight down, is exactly the file exactly the, the geometry that I want to send to my CNC machine. So I'm going to take this right now as it is, go to File, Export, and I'm going to export a 2D graphic. I'm going to export this as a DXF file, and I'm going to call this uh, 2D DXF. No, we'll call it 2D file.dxf. Otherwise, a DXF is redundant, and that's all I'll focus on. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and hit Export. And it says, OK, that is exported. It's on my desktop. Now, there's another way to export this. That's by going to File, Export, 3D Model. Now, we're only exporting 2D information because we all we have is a single plane. But I could still export it as this 3D DXF rather than a 2D DXF. And we're going to go ahead and do that. And I just want to show you guys the difference between the two files when they come out. All right, so I've exported those two files. Now I need a way to view them. I'm just gonna keep this simple. I'm gonna pull up Layout. Now an important note is that I'm not using Layout to view the SketchUp file. I'm not going to import the SKP file at all. I'm just using Layout to view the DXF files I created. So I'm gonna go to File, I'm gonna click Insert, and I'm gonna start by choosing my, 3D, my 2D file. I'm going to open it. I'm going to import model space so that's true, full size, and OK, drop that right on here. And there's my puzzle piece. Looks pretty good. If I zoom in here real tight, you can see something. I can see those segments of the arcs that I created in SketchUp. So when I create arcs in SketchUp, they are created as segments, and I can see them very clearly here. Um, this is how a 2D file exports. Majority of the time, that's perfectly fine for an image. That looks good. That's, I could use that in a lot of places. But if I'm sending this to a machine to co-cut this, I don't want these jagged pieces potentially. Maybe in some cases, not a big deal. But in what I'm talking about, what I'm looking at, I want a nice smooth arc for my puzzle piece that I cut in the CNC. This is where the 3D file comes in. When I go to File, Insert, and grab the 3D version of what I put in, Again, model space, pull it in true size. This will give me nice clean arcs rather than the segmented. 
3D exports using the actual arc information as opposed to the segmented lines that are in the model. So if I look in here close, I can see, wait a minute. Looks like I have some nice smooth arcs and I have some segments. If I can delete these segments, then I have a nice true arc. Why is that happening? Well, let's go ahead and hop back over to SketchUp to see what's going on there. When I export a DXF file, a 3D DXF file, here's what's happening. It's actually exporting multiple things. So for this, all I have is one surface. It's actually exporting two sets of data. One set of data is for the surface. So just the surface and, and the edges get exported separately from the edges. So these lines go out with one set of data and the surface goes out with another. Now that arc data I talked about where it gives you nice smooth arcs is part of the edge data that goes out. So if I want to get those just those nice smooth arcs and not have to delete those segments, all I have to do, select the surface, delete it, and now with just the line work visible, I go to File, Export, 3D Model, and we'll do 3D File B. Successfully exported. If I go into layout and go one last time, file, insert, grab that new 3D DXF file and insert that. We'll slide that right over. If I zoom in on that, you can see I have just those smooth arcs all the way around. So there you go. You may not regularly be exporting to CNC machines, but if there's ever a situation where you need to export smooth arcs from SketchUp, all you have to do is use the 3D export rather than the 2D and export your line work. Hopefully that helped. If so, let us know. Give us a like or maybe subscribe. That way you'll know when Eric's video comes out later this week. And if you have some other ideas for things you'd like to see in these skill builders, let us know in the comments below. Like making these videos, but like it a lot more when we're making something that you want to see. Thank you.